There are approximately 1.9 million people in Northern Ireland that are going to be restricted from receiving products from eBay. Sellers are just switching them off, myself included, and this is why. eBay are obviously on some crazy mission at the moment to just upset the apple cart on as many things as they possibly can in the shortest time frame possible. Now I know eBay are not in control of the GSPR regulations that the EU are currently setting into position. GPSR, whatever. Now the GPSR, the General Product Safety Regulations, is going to be into effect from the 13th of December of this year. So what this means is if you're selling to anywhere in Europe, Northern Ireland included, bit weird, even though on the 31st of January 2020, Northern Ireland, along with us, left the EU, apparently. You are now going to have to fill out all of these details. So in order to ensure the sale of safe products to the European Union and Northern Ireland, don't know why they're getting dragged along still, I'm still very confused about this one. You have now got to fill out so many more specifics. I don't just mean the already annoying item specifics that eBay have, but you've now got to fill out in fact, let me just pull it up for you. So you now have to have the following when it comes to listing items and selling them to the European Union and Northern Ireland. Bearing in mind, a lot of people who sell on eBay sell secondhand, pre-owned, thrifted, vintage, antique, older items that are not brand new, pre-owned and from many, many moons ago. That's what eBay was when it started. And that's where a lot of people still are. There are massive power sellers who probably have access to all of this immediately and they sell one kind of product and they can just do it to one listing. But imagine if you've got even a hundred, but these people have thousands, 10,000. Big Al has just done a video on this and he is absolutely livid and I can see his point 100%. The guy has articulated this in a manner that I never could. So if you wanna go and learn a bit more about this in full depth, I'll leave a link to his video in the description down below. But let me just give you my views, my thoughts and my opinions on this and go from there. But my point is, let's just show you for example. I wanna sell this pre-owned secondhand egg cup. Pop it open, pop your egg in there. It's a bit of plastic from God knows when. There's no markings, no signs, no labels, nothing. But now, in order for me to sell this, I must, I must, otherwise my listings will be hidden and if they do go through, I can be subjected to fines and up to 12 months in prison. I think the fine's like five grand. I must now supply the product manufacturer's name and contact information. I want to sell this egg cup. I don't know who made it, and I certainly aren't going to give you anybody's con contact information. That's probably a reason for them to contact them. Stop it, you're proving eBay's point. Stop it. You are a safe product. You are a safe product. You are a safe product. Also, if the manufacturer isn't located in the EU or Northern Ireland, again, Northern Ireland, you will have to indicate an EU-based responsible person or entity along with their name and contact details. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, I'll tell you what, let's move along. I'm now selling this posy plant with frog or whatever it is from, I believe, around the 30s or 40s. In order for me to sell this into European Union or into Northern Ireland, and the same principles for these guys in order for them to sell from Northern Ireland out. I've now got to give on my listings contact details with a name and phone number. Oh, it's fucking comical. Hold on. <laughs> an EU based representative contact details, name and number for me to sell this. Along with the product manufacturer's name and contact information. We're not finished. We're not finished. I've got to give any relevant product information like model number. Pictures, type, and CE marking. Where's that CE marking on there? But, oh no, we're not finished. Hold on. Product safety and compliance information, like safety warnings, labels, and product manuals in the local language. A great example that Al used was this mug. I have now got to give a manual on how this mug works, along with everything else. Just in case for some reason you don't know how to use it. How do I, how do I, how do I? That's faulty, that's faulty. It is an absolute joke. 
It's EU gone mad. It's their directive. I'm not going to get into the ins and outs and the tinfoil hats and the black hat, white hat conspiracy this or whatever. I'm not going to get into all of that kind of stuff. It is a attack on everyone and everything. Doesn't matter how you look at it. It is a ridiculous. I've had a lot of messages recently asking me why they can't buy from me in Northern Ireland, but they can over on Vinted. Because on eBay, I've got Northern Ireland switched off and I have done for a while because of the postage costs. We get charged extra to send it over there because I don't use Royal Mail. That's my choice, my decision. I use every. Now the reason it's off, along with everything else, I now only sell within UK mainland. That is it. Because I don't want to be going through just the small 100 and something listings that I've got. And even when it does come to listing new ones, trying to find relevant information and risk having this item hidden or hit with fines or imprisonment, even though they can suck it for that. Every time that I want to list something, I, I just can't be bothered. I haven't got the energy for that. My business is absolutely fine in the UK. I don't do eBay as my full-time income anymore. I have multiple streams of revenue, and I'm so glad that I do now. Because if this was just my full-time job, like it was a year, year and a half ago, I would be absolutely bricking it, like these guys are. And I don't blame you. If you guys who are watching this who are currently in Northern Ireland or you're in the UK and you are massive stores and you don't want to ship to Northern Ireland anymore or the EU because of this, I understand. I feel you and I really hope something comes from this. I really hope there's enough attention brought onto this even though because I don't think it's an eBay issue. In fact, I think the Northern Irish border thing seems to be an issue with eBay because I'm not political, but correct me if I'm wrong. Northern Ireland is a part of the UK, the United Kingdom. And in 2020, the United Kingdom, along with Northern Ireland, we all packed our bags, effed off out of the European Union. We're gone, we're done. Northern Ireland now shares a border, obviously, with an EU country being Ireland. But that's not, I just don't understand how Northern Ireland are being dragged into this situation. Are they being punished? I don't know what's going on. But. It's absolutely mental. And my heart breaks for you guys that are absolutely suffering with this. Watching Al, in fact, I'm actually in the middle of watching one of his now. He's a fantastic bloke and he makes fantastic points and he really does punch home the meaning of this to people like him and people with businesses like him. He's even considering buying a house in the UK and setting up business there with a registered address and having his Irish side of the business being a... Um, logistics side being a storage place being a shipping depot you know legally there's legal ways around that and that's what he's thinking about doing the man has to potentially buy a house to continue his business you know what i'm saying do you understand that so you tell me what your thoughts are on that my thoughts are it's mental it is mental they're really not considering this it's almost like they're trying to punish pre-owned they're pushing forward pre-owned pre-loved save the environment climate change landfill reuse where you can ah but if you want to do that you have to jump through a thousand hoops first so maybe just stick to selling brand new items please and only sell one product line of that item so it's easy for you to type that list in here it's a massive, massive, I just, I just, I'm just sick of all these changes at the minute and I'm watching the community. I, I said, when I started doing more daily content, I said that I wanted to kind of invigor the reselling content again in the UK and try and inspire, which I have managed to inspire other channels to keep pumping out content, pumping out content, pumping out content and bring some positivity or something back into the reselling world in the UK. And I'm seeing lots of shit with mainly eBay being dicks. But please don't suspend my account just yet, eBay. eBay's a monster and they have such huge proven potential and track record. There's just a lot going on at the moment and I'm sick of it. But I wish everybody the best who is currently massively suffering with this and let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below.